and making you know they were they were making this whole thing about a witch trial and they said that uh that a witch should fl they came to the conclusion that the witch should float or something like that because they took this these logical leaps every time uh they made a statement they took this kind of crazy logical leap that doesn't make sense and we get pretty good when using words to kind of see those logical leaps that are wrong with statistics the reason people get frustrated with them is because we're not as good we don't get as much practice with the statistical logical leaps that are being taken so when people take a logical leap where we might be more likely to miss it and then blame the statistics so if someone was to say hey look the average is 1.06 you can't deny that i just took the average with this excel average function and it gave me 1.06 therefore i need to uh, I need to I need to implant an ovary into you because you're short an ovary and you need one because the right and you see that's just like the Monty Python stick where <laughs> where she's a w wood floats and therefore the witch should float because she's like because she will burn like wood or something like that doesn't make any you know obviously a logical step uh, went awry somewhere in that and so clearly if we were to do a little bit more more testing whether that be a logical step with words or with statistics we'd say well yeah but wait a second there's something different going on here because when i plot out the data uh, i would expect the average kind of like would, stuff would be following in the middle here and that doesn't seem to be the case everything seems to be on the edges so it doesn't seem that it's true that you know most people have one ovary right that doesn't something something is wrong with this average it's not that the well the average isn't wrong but your conclusion about the average that most people have like one ovary is clearly t totally false right so in any case that's a